Thanks for joining us for the Long Island Sound Podcast. Each week we explore new music and dive deeper with the artists and their stories behind the music. Please subscribe and rate and review us wherever you stream this podcast. Here's your host, Steve Yusko. I've got a great episode for you today. Pete Mancini joins me for a quickie episode to talk about everything he's been doing. He's been playing all over the place. He'll be at my father's place on Cinco de Mayo. He's also playing at Mayfest. But most importantly, he's got a new EP out called The Commonwealth Music Sessions Volume 1. We get into that. We get into his music, what he's been doing, who he, he's been connecting with. You're going to really enjoy it. Hey, let's listen to his latest song, an exclusive called Golden Hour. Hey everybody, Steve Yusko here with a really special episode. I'm so excited to have my guest today. One, because he came back a second time. He's got a new EP out. But more importantly, I got to see him live on stage uh, for the very first time for me at a WSB 45th anniversary concert. And then he was so gracious to play at one of our uh, Long Island Sound showcases at Fire Island Vines. And I'm so happy to welcome Pete Mancini back to the Long Island Sound. So good to see you, Pete. Thanks for coming on with us. Hey, it's good to be back. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. I tell tell you what's really great and what's funny is like when you're online, whether it's Instagram or anything else, 
you have been popping up everywhere. I'm so happy for you. I, I saw that you were up in Massachusetts. You've got this new EP coming out on Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Uh, you're going to be at my father's place. But let's let's talk about um, the uh, production of this EP. And uh, I'm going to touch on some of the other things you've been doing as well. So tell me how that came about and the title of it, of course. Yeah, I'm happy to. Uh, so the new EP is called The Commonwealth Sessions, Volume 1. And um, I had a goal of hitting 30 songs for my next record. And I hit that goal. And the next album is written and it's ready to go. I just have to record it. But um, oh, I had some great. songs left over that I really loved and wanted to release. So I uh, cut them at home at my home studio, which is uh, Commonwealth Studios, the Commonwealth Sessions. And uh, gotcha. they took on a life of their own. Um, had Joe Leone do some drums on them. Delaney Hafner of the Bell Curves sang on a few. Oh, sure. And uh, my buddy Nick Masitti, he uh, mixed and mastered it and came out great. So um, I'm happy to get it out finally. And uh, yeah, I love putting out new stuff. Nice. And... So, so if you're listening to this, whether it is on May 5th, it's coming out on May 5th, correct? Correct. Um, and w and w where, where can our audience get to hear your EP? Well, the full EP is available on Bandcamp. So if you go to PeteMancini.BandCamp.com, you could get that and all the other al albums I've released. Uh, everything's on there. So, Great. Now, how many songs do you have on this particular EP? Uh, five new ones. And I plan on doing oh, nice. um, a couple of other volumes, little five-song releases here and there. So I'm definitely doing two, maybe three. We'll see. Excellent, excellent. I tell you, I was... Uh, I'm going to do a little plug for myself. I uh, I was so lucky to interview uh, Bill Herman from Paradiddle Records, and Bill sent me uh, a slew of records, and we were promoting, which is coming out in May if it's not out already, the uh, the Hank Williams CD, yes, which is called Hank Hank Williams Uncovered. There we get get a good view on that, and to my surprise, right out of the gate, there's Pete Mancini on the first track. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, doing which, a little uh, lovesick a, blues. Lovesick blues. And I think you played that at Fire Island Vines too, which which I thought was great. Yeah. And, and I, that was I, a fun show. I tell you, one of the one of the things we do here at the podcast, or what kind of drove me to start the Long Island Sound was to get to know the artists behind the music. And, you know, I will preach the gospel of seeing somebody live all day long. Because even Pete, honestly, interviewing you the first time, I got a glimpse of who you are. I loved your music right off the bat. But then when I saw you live, I saw a different part of your personality. And I'm like, you know what? We got to promote live original music here on Long Island. Because you were, I, I tell you, even my wife said, hey, wow, that guy's really got it going. <laughs> so it was so enjoyable to have you at Fire Island Vines. And your banter with the audience was just just perfect, you know. Yeah, it was a, it was a great day, great crowd. And, uh, you know, nothing beats that conversation between, you know, artist in the crowd. Um, I think I heard uh, Livingston Taylor, he, he called it a conversation. So I view it as that. Uh, now when I'm playing shows, mm. I try to connect and try to tell some stories yeah, and, and have some laughs and, you know, have fun. Yeah. It, that's not easy to do. And, and as an audience member and a music lover myself, what I see it as is really the artist inviting you into their room, so to speak, you know, and, and it creates this communal atmosphere, which I think we're all, you know, yearning for, especially after quarantine, to mm -hmm. have that camaraderie and sense of community. And that's what we're trying to be, build here at the podcast. But you seem to be a, a pretty be, a busy guy. Tell me about your trip up to Boston with, but tell me about that trip, how that came about and uh, what happened up in Boston. Well, uh, so I work as an assistant to Jimmy Webb, who is Okay. A songwriting legend, and he lives right here on Long Island, um, which a lot of people are surprised by when I tell them that, but uh, he lives in Bayville. And uh, yeah, I've been working for him uh, for the better part of a, you know, over a year, I think. Um, okay. And uh, I'm his assistant, and uh, he took a liking to my music, and I've had the privilege and honor of opening up a few shows for him. So when we went to Boston, we did two shows. We did City Winery Boston, and then we did the Narrow Center in Fall River. And both were just great shows. And any chance I get to play for Jimmy's crowd, it's an honor. So um, we, we had a great time. And um, 
yeah, hope to do more. Um, I'm going to be working some shows with him uh, coming up, just doing merch and. You know, I'm just honored to be on the team. Talk about it. How did you get on the team with Jimmy Webb? How did that come about? <laughs> well, uh, um, my buddy Norm Pruslin, who is the kind of uh, sure. spiritual head honcho over at WUSB in Stony Brook, um, we've mm-hmm. been friends for a long time, and uh, you know he's been helping me out um, for years. And uh, Jimmy's wife, Laura Savini, uh, was looking for someone to help out with some tech projects and uh, you know pick up some different work and Norm suggested me and, you know, luckily me and Jimmy hit it off right away. So it, it's been great getting to know him and uh, getting to know his music and just learning as much as I can from him. And um, you know, I was just over there today and going back tomorrow. So, you know, it's always a good time. Nice. You know, I, I would assume as a young artist, it's almost like a mentorship when you're watching him uh, do his thing uh, and how he handles himself and stuff like that. So I'm sure you've picked up a lot uh you know, through that relationship. And then I'm going to ask you to coerce him to be on the Long Island Sound podcast because that's what I do. I'm in sales. So. Well, when we get a Long Island we'll, show on the books, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah. So you also have May Day coming up. So tell me about that. That that looked really exciting to me. So May Day is, it's an awesome festival, May Day Music Festival on May 13th. Um, headliners include Blues Traveler, The Wallflowers, Weedus, John Hampton of Nine Days, and uh, my band, Pete mm-hmm. Mancini and the Hillside Airmen, are playing the main stage at 4.30. So um, a oh, lot of great, great bands on the day. Uh, the Bell Curves, Quarter Horse, MJT, Dirty Vice Band. Um, so it's it's a whole day of music. It goes from 1 till 11, and uh, it supports labor unions. It's a family-friendly nice. event, charity and uh, so it's it's a great, great lineup for a good cause, and I'm proud to be a part of this event. So I, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. That's that's great. So personally, I'm a pro-labor guy. I was a union, believe it or not, I was a union steam, steam fitter for a while. Nice. Uh, saw many aspects of uh, uh, union uh, life uh, and drama that goes along with it. But it really comes down to, you know, protecting the worker. Uh, getting trained workers out there that do a good job, that have a skill, that do things safely, and keep everybody in check. And, uh, you know, I, 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 the sad part is unions are getting a little weaker here in New York, at least in the construction trades. Mm-hmm. But having been in a union is so different, at least from my perspective, of being outside the union and understand uh, why they were created. So um, it's nice to hear that May Day uh, is tied into supporting uh, labor. Because um, mm-hmm. we all we we all labor, right? So, yeah. To say the least. Hey, let's do this, Pete. I just want to take a quick break, and when we come back, I want to talk about the song our audience heard on the way in before our introduction. So, hang with us, everybody. We'll be right back with Pete Mancini. Don't. At the Long Island Sound, we're much more than a podcast. We're building a community. Please go to gigdestiny.com. Check out all our social media links. Subscribe wherever you listen to the podcast. Please comment. Call the listener line. Tell us what you think, what questions we should ask, who we should have on the show. And most of all, we thank you for your generous support. And remember, support the artists who are guests on the show. Now back to the podcast. (laughs) Hey, we're back, everybody, after that short break with Pete Mancini. We've got lots to talk about, but little time. Tell me about golden hour the song our audience got to hear which is on your ep just how did that come about i'm really curious about that so golden hour um i had this chorus in my head um i was listening to a lot of lou reed at the time a lot of tom petty and uh i had this chorus kicking around and um eventually the verses came and um you know i had this really catchy song that just didn't fit the sequence of my next record um, so it's part of that writing group of songs I mentioned before. Mm. And, um, yeah, you know, I just didn't want to get rid of it. And, uh, I recorded an acoustic version and I sent it to my buddy, Nick, who mixed the EP. And he said, you know, this is a great song, man. You got to get some drums on there. You got to do a full band arrangement. So I'm glad we did. I'm really happy how, you know, how it came out. And, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, it took on a life of its own. You know, it's interesting, the fact that you've done an EP, but you also have done an album. And I think the art of putting an album together and see what songs fit to kind of keep the conversation or the story that you put together is is another art 
in and of itself. And I'm glad because, you know, back in the day, all we had were albums or 45s with two songs on it uh, that were more promotional. Mm -hmm. So it's, I'm glad you're coming out with an album. But one thing I forgot to mention, I saw that you were doing a songwriter's round with um, Matt Marshak, who is uh, uh, a yes. friend of my wife's, uh, worked with Matt's, Matt's, uh, uh, Matt's wife. And uh, that's how I got Matt. Matt was one of my first uh, interviews. He was so generous uh, to come on the program. And what, what a nice guy. So tell me, just tell me about that. Uh, it was out East, right? You did a, a, a songwriting round. Yeah, on, it's on this stage, new. So fill me in. It's this new thing called the uh, East End Writers Round. And, uh, you know, Matt asked me to be a part of it. And um, I got to share the stage with him and uh, the songwriter Cameron Quinlan. And we had a great night. I love playing in the mm -hmm. round because, you know, playing solo could get a little lonely sometimes. And uh, it's nice to be up there with some people, sharing some stories, sharing some songs. It's It's got a communal feel to it. So that's always fun. That's how they do it down in Nashville. So I'm happy to see it spreading. Nice. That's that's excellent. I tell you, um, in in talking to Matt, I was, I was a little starstruck because he's known as an international jazz guitarist. So I was really kind of taken aback that he would be on this lowly Long Island Sound podcast. But that just 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 to give it a little tie in and meeting you and and uh, Delaney Hafner was on the program of, of the Bell Curves. There's a thread of Wellspring talent that goes through uh, Long Island. And what I found about the music community here on Long Island is uh, they're very generous with each other. Um, you know, you, you guys help each other out, which is, is so good to see. I'm sure there's the occasional diva out there, but my experience has been, hey, yeah, come and do it. Yeah, I got an opportunity for you. Does that Has that been your experience, Pete? Yeah, I've met a ton of great people playing music over the years. And, you know, I have some found family out on Long Island. And, uh, you know, that's where I met Travis, who I co-wrote right. a lot of songs mm -hmm. with and made so many friends. Uh, musically and and otherwise and yeah it just means a lot to to meet a lot of great people it's it's kind of one of the uh fringe benefits of playing music but you know we we don't make a ton of money all the time but we're rich in connections and Absolutely. I, i'm grateful so for that do, yeah so you do have a a gig coming up uh, i think it was like a last minute gig for you at my father's place which is epi epstein's regurgitated my father's place uh now at the what's the name of the place in Glen Cove? The Metropolitan. The Metropolitan. Yeah. Right. So um tell you're playing with uh Rhett Miller. So tell me about that. That's coming up this Friday, I think at eight o'clock, right? Yeah, that is a kind of a last minute gig, but I'm I'm really excited because I'm a big Rhett Miller fan. His band nice. Old Ninety Sevens, just a great, great all country band. Um and then uh his solo work I'm a big fan of as well. So I yeah, I can't wait. Um He's one of the right. hardest working songwriters in the biz. So I'm excited. Nice. Have to be you, doing have you met him them. before? Have you met him before? Or is this be the first time that you, you're going to meet? Yeah, I met him before a um, long time ago, though. So, yeah, uh, nice. yeah it's going to be cool to to share the stage to with him to, to catch up. Well, yeah. I, I, tell, I tell you, Pete, I know this is a last minute thing for us. I really, you know, once I, I saw it on Instagram, you made this little announcement that you're putting an EP out this Friday. I said, damn, this is a great opportunity to just do a, a quick uh, episode of the Long Island podcast to get the word out about Pete Mancini. And I'm going to give a testimony to those out there. Go see Pete live. I don't care where he's playing. It's May Day at my father's place on Friday. Follow Pete Mancino. You're going to have a great, Mancini, you're going to have a great time. Uh, and you're a great guy, Pete. I really appreciate the art and the music you bring to the world. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for having me. Um, always great catching up. All right, brother. Talk to you soon. Be well, everybody. Yep. Take care. Thank you for joining us today. I appreciate the time you spent with us. Please subscribe and comment and visit us at gigdestiny.com. Till next time, be generous with your joy, keep your spirits high, and let the music take you on a journey. Be well. Peace.